Guys, we've just received an update over the air and it looks like there's some good stuff in it. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go. Some people might know I'm actually a DJ in my spare time. So that's what I can show you. I am a musician. hoping that there was some sort of this was the Christmas update but it's not it's 2020.48.10 or 2020.48.10 10.2 version 10.2 so there was actually some interesting stuff that happened on this update uh, security features were updated um, so sentry mode there was also some Bluetooth stuff and I'll show you the notes now so I'll click on release notes and we'll test all of this out um, text message improvements, consecutive message from the same sender will now be displayed and dictated together for an improved viewing and listening experience to view conversations and applications launch and tap call and then messages. Okay. I've never, I've actually not done, done that tracks. So the music software has been done. So that's good. So we've actually got some entertainment updates and then sentry mode. This is what I was looking at. Sentry mode footage on the last panic event will now be saved to onboard memory. To view or save this clip, plug in a USB device, launch the dash cam viewer, and tap and save the icon in the bottom right corner. So, what that means, this is, this is major. Anybody who hasn't got a USB in, or their USB is full or messed up, this is like a backup. So like, say someone set your alarm off and the car was panicking and was going wild, it would save it to the car. Then you can plug a memory card in after the fact, load that clip onto the memory card, and then view it. That is amazing. So we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna pull the memory card out, we'll test it out. But first of all, let me just have a look at this one first. Text message in. Oh yeah, guys, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, um, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, all that kind of goodness. And also, we, there is a Patreon link down below, guys. Any support is appreciated uh, massively, and yeah, the Model X cost me a bit of money, and you know, it'd be nice to sort that out. So, click call. Okay, I need to connect via Bluetooth. Oh no, it's gonna see all my texts. <laughs> right, I'm connecting, I put Bluetooth on my phone. Um, so there you go. Okay, Neve, do you want to send me a text? So I've not had it connected to the phone before um, in this way. I've not allowed messages. So that's why it probably says no new messages. So Neve's going to send me a text now and we'll see if that makes a difference. Wow. Okay. I'll just send one back. Oh, double press to dismiss. Single read. Hey, slow to you. <laughs> Single press of this to send. Wow! And it looks very um, iPhone-ish. Come through to you? Mm -hmm. Wow. This one's really cool. I didn't actually expect anything like this. Um, I don't know what to make of it, really. I love it, personally. It's amazing for me. But um, it's a little bit on the edge of using your phone whilst driving. It, like, if we look here, it's basically like a phone. Like, it's just like having my phone on screen. Um, the difference is with this is if I want to send a text to Neve, I would, you have to talk. So, hello Neve, how are you doing today? That is impressive. I could have full on conversations there. Let's try that one more time. Well, I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. There is a text limit. So let's have a look. I'll send that through to Neve. Let's have a look how accurate it was. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the president, <laughs> okay, present, nor the future, no, any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love. Okay, so apart from the word count, so there is a limit. 
it got really close. That is really accurate. Now I've been having problems with the voice control recently. So that is super accurate. I love this. So we can also go on recent, so I can see all my calls. And then you can also dial some numbers up there. So if someone else texts me now, it'll all start to come up. I'm buzzing about that. That is a really big update that I'm actually gonna get practical use out of. And that is important. Let's head over to tracks. So into toy box, is it toy box? Tracks, okay, so this is the new tracks, let's jam. So I've used this before in some of our old videos. Some people might know I'm actually a DJ in my spare time. So that's what I can show you. I am a musician. I'll show you exactly how I get down with tracks 2.0. So it's loading up. Took a while to load up, I'd say. There we go. Okay, so. Okay, let's record something. We'll stop that there. And then... Okay, let's record it then. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing now. And there you go. I'm really bad at this, but I, I, I can't really tell a massive difference if I'm being honest, uh, because I don't know what I'm doing and I didn't actually use it that much. Anyway, that is Trax 2.0. Interesting, if you're into music, I guess it's really cool for you guys. But the thing we all came for, let me get out of here. How do I get out of here? I want out of here. Okay, the thing we came for, what's this notification? Dashcam USB is getting full. Oh, there you go. So this would be ideal for me. Right, I'm gonna go into my dash. I'm gonna take my, my trusty little USB and we're gonna set the alarm off and see what happens, okay? So I've, I've not tested this out before. I'll set the car, I'll turn the Bluetooth off. I'm gonna walk out the car with Neve. Neve's gonna stand back with my phone and then I will set the alarm off and see what happens. I've not done this before. So the phone and the USB are over there. Not that the USB matters. Let's set the alarm off. Okay, so essential mode straight away triggered. Um, get out of there, give me your, give me your stuff, you car guy. <laughs> think so, I think a thingy event might be, um, let's test it out on a standard sentry event. So that's a standard sentry event. Let's see if that's saved to the car. I think, I suspect it'll only be like alarm triggered states. So when it's like someone carries on messing with the car, but we can test it, so. Okay, let's hop inside. That doesn't look like it, does it? So let's, let's click the sentry mode report for the one clip. So it wasn't there. I click this little icon here. Um, it's trying to load something up. So I'll just let it load whatever it's trying to load up and see if that's it. If that's not it, um, we'll try again, I guess. Something's going on in here. Dash cam USB is getting full, okay. That could be why it's not working. So I'm gonna launch viewer again, just to check if it's doing it or not. I think it's attempting to do it. Could be wrong. Ugh. Oh no, what have I done? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is delete some clips. I think that's what I need to do. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to try this again. Take the memory card out again. Center mode's on. I want to try the lock thing again. Um, the, the standard sentry mode again, because that, that's more interesting to me if the standard sentry would work. Let's have a go. Okay, I'm going to give it 20 seconds and then I'll start attacking the car. Whilst we're doing that, let's do a thumbnail. Oh, 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 it's <laughs> just doing it. Give it a little bit more of Get rid of your stuff. I've got a Model X now, I don't care about you. That's a lie. That is a lie. This is, this is done my favourite to drive. One sentry mode report again. One thing I'm mindful of guys is it actually might require sentry mode to go off to, to finish saving the clip to the car. So plug that in. I'm going to just click the clip this time. USB is taking a while to load up there. Let's load that straight up. 8.54, no, it's not done it again. So what I'm going to do now is set the alarm off. Um, that could be what is, is required. So let's go set the alarm off. It's quite good because we're sort of figuring out what it actually does. So if, it's, if this works on the alarm, that means that it works on alarm only, maybe. Oh, it's a Tesla. It's got a computers and that in it. I want to break in. Oh yeah, it's working now. Yeah, there you go. So I think we've just got to stick with this until the it goes. Good time to clean the cameras actually. Like, please. Good time to clean the cameras. Oh, God, come on. What's going on here? Give me the thing. Yeah. Let's go test it out. Okay. If there's two sentry modes reporting now, everyone thinks I'm an absolute madman. Especially that driving instructor is probably not <laughs> What is he doing? Okay, USB's here, so it says two sentry mode report, event reports. Obviously, there's no way of me watching them normally. Pop the USB in. Let's have a look. I'm gonna do exactly what he told me to do, okay? So I'm gonna wait for this to load up. I'm gonna press this. Okay, okay, so it's just come on. Save footage. Okay, saving dash cam footage. Okay. That's different. Launch viewer. So the save logo in the bottom right, it did say that. On board. On board. Okay, so on board. Yep, that's me. So it's the alarm, it's an alarm trigger. Okay. So it's only capable. You can save a copy to the USB. There you go. There's the bottom right corner. There we go. We did something, guys. We did something useful for once. So it saves 10 seconds. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It might save more. Um, 10 seconds is all I was willing to allow the alarm to go off because of the car park. So it saved... Whilst the alarm was on, it was saving everything. So once the alarm's triggered until the point I unlock it, so it's not only saving 10 seconds... Yeah, it's when I unlocked it. So as soon as you unlock it, the recording stops. So whilst the alarm's going off, the car is recording. So we did something useful. Consumer advice, guys. So it saves all the footage once the alarm's triggered. So it was the, it was me hitting the front camera, set the alarm off, the alarm was triggered, and it recorded everything. Every single camera it recorded. Um, there we go. There's me unlocking it. As soon as it's unlocked, the clip stops. So. I suspect it would carry on recording the whole alarm system, uh, wh sorry, whilst the whole alarm system's going off. So you could get, I think the alarm would go off for like 20, 30 seconds of footage, which is really useful. From someone triggering the alarm, you know, they'd probably run off straight away or carry on attacking it really quickly. So that would be saved to the car, and then you plug a USB in and you can save it. It's really cool. Let's have a look if we unplug the USB, what? 
if any, no, nothing's going to be there, is it? Nothing's going to be there. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, cool. So it saves it on board, but it, so it has got a little section that says on board. So it's saved right there. Sentry, on board, recent, and you just click that and you've got it. So it is only when the alarm is triggered. Only when the alarm is triggered. So the alarm has to go da -da 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 -da, and then beep, 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 which is really cool because that happens rarely. Um, and it's one of them things that it always seems to be the case. When your USB's not in there, your USB's not working, something bad happens to your car. Well, now Tesla have you covered for stuff like this. Um, it'd be a major incident, either someone trying to break in or someone crashing into the side of your car at night. It would always have it. There's horror stories out there. I'm one of those horror stories um, where it was a night that the USB wasn't working. Somebody crashed into the side of the car and drove off. Um, if I had this, it probably would have saved us. And then also there was a woman in the States I saw someone must have been drunk driving, totaled her Model 3, and she had she had taken the USB out to reformat it that night. So uh, it stuff happens, man, but with this, at least your major stuff would kind of be okay. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much the video. Um, this is 2020 version version 10.2 2020.48.10 and uh, i will be testing it out for the full self-driving system to see if there's any updates with that but those three updates for me are major and i love stuff that we can just get our teeth into straight away um so yeah there was a entertainment upgrade there was a text messaging thing which is unbelievable and then there was the sentry mode which i think is really key it's subtle changes like that the sentry mode that go a huge way and um people don't i don't think they respect them until they need them so you know you'll be caught off guard one time and you'll realize that the car had saved the footage for you that's when you're going to thank for the thank Tesla for the upgrade and you think, Lord, if I didn't have that, I would not have been able to say that for you. Or maybe you won't think that. But anyway, guys, I'm still very in love with my Model 3. I have got a full review coming soon. He says for the hundredth time, but I have. And I'm gonna do one of the Model X as well. But um, yeah, I just love this car. But if you're thinking about buying one, I recommend the Model 3. I do recommend the Model 3. I recommend the Model 3 for most people over the Model S or the Model X. That's just because I think this suits most people. But if you're thinking about buying one, there is a link in the description. It'll get you a 1,003 supercharger in miles, and it gets me a 1,003 as well. And I do very much appreciate it. Uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, look at the Model X. There she is. There she blows. She's on charge at the moment. Oh, anyway guys, see you in the next one. Peace.